guys check out the next level games for all your tcg needs link is down below in the description of the video thanks guys what's up everybody welcome back to team fish knuckles youtube channel so this expanded thursday we actually are not gonna have like a play video so dislike the video if you want to see me playing some broken expanded deck but today what we're going to cover is some of the best expanded decks and if you don't know if you're living on the rock all last week we covered expanded we made some predictions and uh played some decks now the deck i didn't cover of course one uh we did talk about it and we covered different things you can play with the deck and that one obviously did win um it's pretty obvious that zark is really broken really good we actually did a video yesterday talking about dce ban um and, it, and i know a lot of people already getting like some like hate about the video but the video is just like a discussion video we might do more and talk about other cards that might need to get banned but these are all ideas that people are having i just love um viewing them um if you don't know as well and this is not expanded but in standard you have philip schultz win with a zark gyarados deck huh i got the hiccups now yeah, Zork Gyarados won. Just uh, I thought I'd give you a little little shout out there. Uh, <coughs> Philip Schultz, which is Robin Schultz's brother. Uh, Philip has actually done very well in multiple regionals, uh, but Philip is a really good player. So check out Limitless for their Zork Gyarados list. He's actually is a part of Limitless, so it's pretty cool that you know Limit. So basically, the two best games, best teams right now is Limitless. And Dead Draw Gaming, and I can't wait to see them clash uh, sometime this year. Anyway, let's cover regional. I mean, I guess technically DDG won when they beat uh, in Brazil, right? But let's go over regionals in Anaheim. Let's look at the top eight list. Now, if you notice, there's a top eight here. Now, there's going to be, I think, everything in this list we covered except for one deck. Uh, or two decks. Sorry, two decks. We didn't cover. All right, covered Zark. We covered Aquaza. Uh, we covered Zark, we covered Zark, we covered Buzzle, we talked about, did we talk about Buzzle? Now I'm confused with myself. Did we talk about Buzzle or not? I can't remember if I talked about, I don't think I did actually. I don't think I talked about one of the best decks. So maybe three, right? You got Flareon, you got Buzzle, Lycanroc, and you got Lucario. So we're not going to look at every single one of these Zark decks. We're going to look at Jimmy since he's won. Uh, they are totally different Zark decks, uh, but let's go over everything else, and then we'll go over Jimmy's list last. G uh, DDG is on a Rampage. Jimmy Pedarvis is on a Rampage. But let's get Izero Sosa's first, uh, his top eight list. Now, I do know this for sure. Sosa did play against Rayquaza in top four. So I do know for sure he did lose um, to Rayquaza. If he had hit any of the one, two, three, four of the Zorks, he probably would have made to top four. Uh, but Sosa, a great friend of mine, um, and a future dad. Congrats, buddy. But we have a Lucario GX, just a 3 3 line. It is the Aura Strike one, not Lucario EX, like some people thought. Uh, just 90 plus 30. We're doing 120, hitting that weakness on Zara, taking knockouts. We do play a Zygarde EX. We got that weakness to grass, while this one is a weakness to Psychic. All right. Uh, now, Land EX, which we kind of just popped up for a second, is really good to spread that 30 30. Um, you can start weakening up some Pokemon on the bench, and then all of a sudden, you know, Lucario is doing, you know, 120 with the fighting energy or strong energy 140 plus the 30 earlier you're doing 170 uh you can see how this lander cx is really nice and start softening up things uh and so so loves landerus uh he played landy crobat so you know um and there's a lot of different things going on here you've got <clears throat> the zygarde ex which is good to hit for the uh when you're worried about grass you know if you have the grass pokemon you can use this guy or non the grass pokemon sorry if you have like Landorus, you worry about water. Buzzword, you worry about psychic. Oh, this is the regular Buzzword. So I guess the Zygarde is more for, I guess, just soft enough Pokemon that are not water type or that are water type. You can use Zygarde, punch them in the face, stuff like that. There's a Buzzle, which is good for the Sledgehammer. You could, you know, exactly four, you do 120 damage. There's a 1 1 Noctillery, which we haven't seen in a long time, and a Deontay to do more damage. So you can see how this deck's like pretty cool. Um, you can do a ton of damage, Lucario. You just like, you know, or strike doing a lot. You set up knockouts to EX. The GX attack for King Tinker's beat beatdown is really good. I really like this deck a lot, and it's unfortunate he did hit Rayquaza uh, going into top eight. Uh, three Karina, it's going to help you search out your fighting Pokemon, which is really nice. It's going to add that consistency in there. Really cool. Um, Faba, we talked about Faba, how important it should be. Um, obviously, people didn't listen to me because um, there wasn't enough Faba going around. That's why I won. Uh, Scoop Up Cyclone is a really cool ace spec because you put it back in your hand. 
focus sash is really interesting. This way, they're not one shotting Lucario GX, right? If they're going to commit to knock out your Lucario, they have to wait to bump your tool and one shot it because they don't. You can tankers at any time and uh, basically just take an automatic knockout, right? Which is pretty cool. Brooklyn Hill for consistency, Silent Hill shut down basic decks. Um, and everything else like that, pretty nice. Uh, the letters, like all these one ups are really cool because you can play Karina for an item card plus uh, a fighting Pokemon. So you can grab the letter, get your energies out. You can grab uh, your, your tools. Um, I think Karina can grab tools. I don't see why it wouldn't. Item card, Focus Edge is an item card. So look at there, is Scoop Up Cycle Item Card? Yeah, it is. Uh, so you have all these different things. You can grab a Karina. Really, really nice deck. You can grab oh, Ace Roll, of course, pick up your damage Lucarios. And they're just never one shotting them because you have, like, your Focus Sash and stuff like that. And they do pop you for enough. You just, like, swing for a billion damage. Really cool deck. Congratulations to Lucario and to Sosa for the top eight placement. So, we got Zork Arbiter. Sorry, Aaron. We're not looking at your list. Uh, Connor hasn't posted his list yet. So, Connor, we're slacking here, buddy. Uh, but next up, Zork Garbador. Zork, don't care about these. Um, you can look at them if you want to. Limitless.com. Uh, LimitlessTCG.com slash tournaments. Click on regional anaheim uh next up preston playing his requasa deck but it is a different version of the one we talked about the other day and that is the ho ex build uh so ho ex has that ability rebirth once during your turn before you attack if this pokemon is in your disco pal you may flip a coin if heads put this pokemon onto your bench and attach three different type of basic energies from your disco pal to this pokemon so we're gonna get um, we're gonna get our, our Pokemon powered up this way, Rebirth. Now, you only get two, technically, because, you know, you get Grass and Lightning only in this deck. Uh, but with the Compressors, you got Way to Discard stuff with Mysterious Treasure. You got Ultra Ball. You got Guzma, which you can just switch out a hoe at any moment. Uh, two Shaman Yak. So, basically, this deck's gonna help you draw through a bunch of cards. You see Skyfield is here as well. Uh, basically, you're just drawing through a bunch of stuff in your deck. You see, you just see a bunch of one ofs. You got the two shame when you got ho o's to compress away mysterious treasure away a max elixir as well so you have all these different things to draw a bunch of cards there's a zero or for the free retreat still very nice uh which i do like a lot uh mew is in there as well you can use mew to copy your quasi gx tack and use the memories of dawn which is pretty cool or or and guru for the instruct set is going to be in played in almost every single deck just limit your opponent down to four is broken in this format uh, everything else outside of that is pretty good. Congratulations to Preston Ellis, um, Austin Ellis, if I remember correctly. Is it Austin? I think it is Austin, uh, Ellis, Preston. Maybe I'm wrong. Sorry if I am. Uh, but just a really good Rayquaza deck. You're just going to use Rebirth, get a bunch of Pokemon on your bench. You use a Max Elixir. You're going to look through a bunch of cards. You're going to get a ton of energies out ASAP. And I really do like this a lot. Zero or give them that free retreat thanks to Thunderclap Zone. So a very interesting take on Rayquaza that we had never seen before. I've heard people talk about it, and I think I even mentioned it in the video. I think Trainer Chip did a video or something like this. Now, the interesting thing is there's no... Um, there's no energy switch, which you think you would see energy switch just because the attack needs three energies. So you can get, you know, out of nowhere. But we do not see that. I guess we're more reliant on the Stormy Winds, Dragon Break, Tempest thing. Oh, also, you can just Stormy Winds uh, Pokemon energies in your discard pile. And then you can use uh, Ho Rebirth to get it back out, which is pretty nice. I do like that a lot. I like the two stretchers as well to get back cards. Das Machine, cool to get back your trainer cards. Pretty cool ace spec. I like that we're seeing multiple ace specs being used here. So that's Rayquaza EX. So next up, it's going to be Connor Fenton's uh, Vest of Queen Flaren, which we haven't seen in a long time. And I guess this is to pun kind of punish those decks not playing um, Cairn, right? Um, so Vest Queen, you know, you're just doing a ton of damage from any Pokemon in your discard pile. It's a very common strategy we've seen before, right? Unknown uh, for the Feral Letter to draw a card, but more so to fill up your Vest Queen attack. Tutu Flareon, we see some shame and draw some cards, but there is a huge max these things in his list, right? You got Glade to uh, get the Permanition, Machoke to shut down uh, Pokemon to hit, hit your bench, Marowak to shut down, you know, um, Scythe and stuff like that. You move any effects. So There's a really cool card, shut down Scythe and stuff like that. Uh, Ditto Prism Star, so now you can evolve into Marowak as well as Machoke. And you can evolve into Zep Striker. You can evolve into Flareon. So the Ditto here is really, really cool. I do like this a lot. Uh, being able to transform into Marowak is really, really strong to shut down those... Um, those good old Scythe decks, right? Uh, Zip Strike is really good. You can use the Sprint to discard cards out of your hand. You can discard Pokemon, stuff like that. 
Giratina has helped to shut down. Uh, <clears throat> this is to shut down the Trevenant decks, but it's still just really good. Just a discard if need to. Uh, there's a bunch of different stuff going in here. So the, the thing about this deck as well is, is what you got to worry about. It's like I said before, is if your opponent discards your special energies, which is why we see two special charges in this list. But once again, Faba is really interesting, right? Because it puts it in the Lost Zone. Uh, everything else pretty standard in this list. Um, nothing too crazy. The Maxis is really cool to get your Pokemon out. Uh, teammates is really good to consistently find those DCs and they do take the knockout. Because your best Queens only has 90 HP, so they're going to get knocked out fairly easily. Flareon is real. I mean, what's weak to grasp that Flareon? I don't know. Uh, maybe he just likes a best. Well, best queen has free retreat. Um, Flareon doesn't. So that's a big thing right there, right? Um, so maybe he's like, I'm fine with six attackers. Like, you gotta take six knockouts. I only have to take three. Um, so yeah, I see why he's playing just the Vesper Queen. He's got the free retreat stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there we go. There's the Vesper Queen. We might see this deck next week on Expanded Thursday. If we do Expanded Thursday next week, and you'll see what I'm talking about next week for sure. And then of course, first place is Slipestone Zark. Any way to have it? Probably not, right? It's just a good old. I'm gonna play a bunch of different disruption cards. Uh, Loose Mine is the card that people is freaking out about to get supporter cards, team cards back into your hand. Plumeria, the discard. Um, any energy on the field. I uh, got Faba in here now to discard special energies. Team Rock is handiwork to slow your opponent down. Team Scroll Grunt discard energies out of their hand. You got Gladion to see your prize cards. You got Enhanced Team or Kino Catcher. Uh, once again, this is a very mill based deck. And this is a rough season here. Is a way to make your Pokemon. Oh, uh, I guess you heal your size toes. Articoon is in there. Discard energies. I uh, see. This is where I think I got expanded needs help because, like, you got this stuff right here going on. I don't know what we can do to fix this. And people gonna be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. You're just sad, sad boy, whatever. I don't know. A draft Rig is really really cute now like to put two cards from your opponent's disc part on the lost zone you're just lost zone away stuff they don't need like you can put their their dcs in there when you knock them out right you can put um pokemon in there so they're you're like you think like in in hindsight like the screen would destroy this but with giraffe rig you can just put two pokemon in there two pokemon in there right and they get put in the lost zone and is there a way to get back Pokemon besides a Rangaroo? Uh, there's a Stretcher. So, like, with this draft rig, you can at least put four Pokemon in there, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it is a lot, right? Especially when you're kind of slower, you get to discard a bunch of Pokemon and stuff like that. It takes time, and with draft rig, you're just lost on them, which is, like, way worse than, like, Karen, right? So that's really bad for the for them. Um... But yeah, it's just a standard, like, I'm just going to size to it, quake and punch you. I'm going to disrupt your energy. I'm going to make you not do anything. Uh, so going into uh, Dallas, it's going to be really interesting. We really, you know, didn't see anything crazy coming out of here. I do like that we have more decks. Uh, but this right here, this is what I'm scared of. This Seismitoad, um, this Seismitoad Zork deck. I, I, you know, I, I knew it was going to be played. Uh, it looks like Jimmy was the only one who played it. I don't have all the list yet, right? But I imagine a lot of people are playing this list. It's very, it's not, I just don't like the control Zark deck. I'm fine with these other Zark decks that are not playing Scythe Turn, right? Like, you see this one, it's just, just straight. Like, this is more like the straight version. Like, I'm playing Peking Red Card and Red Card and stuff like that. That's fine. I'm fine with this. I'm, I'm not fine with the, the, the Hurt version. You got Johnny playing like the Zark Garbador. I know I said I wouldn't go into them, but this is a good list as well. Um... Just because you got Garbodor punish him. It's a different type different type of um, Zork, right? And you got another Zork Garbodor. So I, I really like these lists a lot. The Zork Garbodor, stuff like that. I'm fine with those. I'm not fine with the Zork uh, Slipestow deck and the stall stuff. But we'll see. Dallas coming up is in January. We'll see what happens there. I imagine we'll see a totally different format. But guys, there we go. Next week, we're probably not going to have an Expanded Thursday. Don't want to give anything away just yet for next week. I want to keep it a surprise. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you tomorrow. Go vote for Fan Friday. Alrighty. Bye.